What is going on everyone? Luca Rosano here back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. Before we dive into the content, I do want to announce that today's video sponsor is Dave and Busters. If you're ever at a Dave and Busters location, let them know that Luca Rosano sent you. Dave and Busters is your number one spot for all things sports. You can have some great times, play some great games, and watch your favorite sport at Dave and Busters. I know it's a quiet time in sports, but we're going to soon be back into the full swing of things where all the major sports are happening all at once, including the World Cup. So make sure you check out Dave and Busters. Okay, let's talk about some non-Kevin Durant Raptors news for once. Yes, some other stuff has happened that I wanted to talk about. The Raptors have locked arguably their best player of summer league as the Raptors are signing guard Jeff Doughton Jr. on a two-way NBA contract. Sources tell The Athletic. Doughton Jr. had call-ups to Golden State, Orlando, and Milwaukee last season, and he was fantastic in summer league. He averaged 16 points, 3.8 rebounds, 4.3 assists, 1.3 steals, and only 0.5 turnovers per game on incredible efficiency. He shot 57.1% from the field, 36.4% from deep, and 92.3% from the line. He looked like a veteran out there and did a great job of controlling the offense. Last year, Dowden was one of the Santa Cruz Warriors' best players in the G League, and he played nine call-up games in the NBA for the Magic, Bucks, and Warriors. He's 25 and has great length at the guard position. Toronto now has both two-way spots filled up with Ron Harper Jr. claiming the other one. A number of players are on non-guaranteed deals already in place to fight for the final roster spot or two, if someone is waived, of course. Now, this is going to include Delano Banton, DJ Wilson, Armani Brooks, and Justin Champagny. Christian Coloco is not yet signed, but it's safe to assume that he'll take a roster spot when it's all said and done. So just like that, the Raptors roster is coming together. It is almost set. And you look at this Doughton Jr. signing. It is a great decision by the Raptors. If you did catch Summer League, Doughton was a clear standout. And he definitely deserves this opportunity. Now, Doughton may actually still be able to compete for a full roster spot if he excels in training camp. The Raptors could then renegotiate his contract, but it's likely that as of now, he will be out of the running for the main roster. But Doughton Jr. still has tremendous upside, and he has shown a lot of good bright spots out there on the court. The sky's the limit to how good he can be. So congratulations to Doughton Jr. I know a lot of Raptors fans were waiting for this moment. This moment has finally come. Doughton Jr., signing a two-way NBA contract with the Toronto Raptors. Okay, let's switch gears now and let's talk about Vegas and let's talk about something that is a staple and that is Vegas underestimating the Raptors once again. We already knew this was coming though. The Raptors are coming off a season in which they exceeded expectations and finished with the fifth best record in the Eastern Conference at 48 and 34. Now, Vegas is expecting the Raptors to take a small step backwards for this upcoming season. They have set the club's over-under win total at 44.5 for the upcoming campaign. Now, it should be noted that these numbers are subject to change based on how the rest of the offseason plays out. Who knows if a crazy trade does in fact happen. But nonetheless, I'm going to tell all of you, Smash the over if you're looking to bet on this because the Raptors have consistently hit the over on Vegas' totals in recent history, exceeding the estimated mark nine times in the past 10 seasons. The only year the under came in was in 2020-2021 when the Raptors played their home games in Tampa. Yeah, don't take me back to those memories. Now, this over-under is actually surprising because you expect further development from guys like Scotty Barnes, OG, Gary Trent Jr., and Achua. And the Raptors have their stars who you know you're going to get from. Guys like Siakam and Van Vliet. So I can't imagine the Raptors going backwards. The Raptors are only going to get better in my opinion. So yeah, definitely take the over. I think this is a great way for you to make some money if you do want to bet on it. But if you're not going to bet on it, you could just sit back and watch the Raptors try to prove everybody wrong again. And prove the public wrong again for underestimating them going into this season the raptors are going to have a solid team even without kevin durant and we will see how everything continues to come together for them now the last thing i want to talk about here i wasn't going to talk about it but i was on the video that i made yesterday and i stumbled across this comment which prompted me 
to talk about this. And it's this comment right here talking about a Ben Simmons trade. And then this made me investigate why are we still talking about Ben Simmons trades? And then I saw this report and it's from heavy.com that one NBA executive said to heavy Sean Devaney that the Raptors recently had an interest in Simmons. He said this, Toronto had an interest in Simmons before and a package could be built around OG and Anobi. The Raptors would not give up Scotty Barnes or Van Vliet or Siakam. So it might be a non-starter for Brooklyn. He went on to say, but Ananobi, Birch, and two young guys like Flynn and Achua, plus a couple of first rounders, that might be the best the Nets can do for him. Close quote. So I just wanted to give you my very quick reaction to this. Yeah, hell no. Big no to this. I am not interested in a Ben Simmons trade. I was not interested in a Ben Simmons trade last year when this stuff surfaced. And I don't even know why this stuff is surfacing now. This seems like a complete BS report. So yeah, I am not interested in a Ben Simmons trade. Are you kidding me? You're you're going to even mention Ananobi in the same line of Ben Simmons. The Raptors aren't trading Ananobi for Simmons. The Raptors are not going to navigate this route. So yeah, whatever you see in regards to Ben Simmons, just dismiss it because the Raptors are in a much better place right now and they do not need Ben Simmons to screw things up as we don't even know what Ben Simmons is going to look like come next season. The dude has not played a game in what feels like forever. So that is it. Just wanted to give you guys some updates out of the Raptors world and just wanted to talk about some of the stuff that has happened. Leave your comments down below. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus ring the bell. Let's get to 27K. Make sure you are subscribed if you are watching this. As my YouTube analytics say that about 66% of you are not subscribed. So kindly subscribe if you are not. And keep it locked and loaded on this channel for all your Raptors and NBA news and stories. This is Luca Rosano signing off. And I'll catch you all again in the next video.